Number 17, three vectors A, B, and C each have a magnitude of 50 meters and line the xy plane. Their directions relative to the positive direction of the x axis are 30 degrees, 195 degrees, and 315 degrees, respectively. What are the magnitude and the angle of vector A plus B plus, plus C? And the magnitude and the angle of vector A minus B plus C? And the magnitude and the angle of a fourth vector D such that A plus B minus C minus D equals to zero? So the first, first thing that we are going to do is to write vector a, b, and c in unit vector notation. So vector a is equal to the magnitude of vector a times the cosine of the first angle, which is 30 degrees in the i direction, plus the magnitude of vector a times the sine of 30 degrees in the j direction. And remember that the magnitude of the vector is 50. So this, the answer is 43.3 in the i direction plus 25 the j direction and the unit is meters. Vector b is equal to the magnitude of vector b times the cosine of 195 degrees in the i direction plus the magnitude of vector b times the sine of 195 degrees in the j direction and this gives us minus 48.3 in the i direction minus 12.9 in the j direction and it is in meters as well vector c is equal to the magnitude of vector c times the cosine of 315 degrees in the i direction plus the magnitude of vector c times the sine of 315 degrees in the j direction and this gives us 35.4 in the i direction minus 35.4 in the j direction and it is in meters as well so those are vector a b and c so for letter a and b we have to find vector a plus b plus c so for letter a we have to do a plus b plus c so if you sum those those vectors you find let's see you find 30.4 in the i direction minus 23.3 in the j direction in meters so this vector a plus b plus c the magnitude of vector a plus b plus c is equal to the square root of each component squared so 30.4 squared plus minus 23.3 squared and this gives us roughly 38 meters so this is the answer of letter a for letter b we want to find the angle in respect to the x-axis so how we do that we this angle let's call it it is theta is equal to the tangent to the minus one of the y component this is the y component, right? So minus 23.3 over the x component, which is 30.4. And this gives us two different answers. It gives us minus 37.5 degrees and 142.5 degrees. So those are the two different answers, and we have to choose the correct one. So this is easiest way to see which one is the correct is to draw our vector so this vector we can see it is negative in the y direction and positive in the x direction so it points something like this so let's see minus 37.5 could be this angle however 142.5 cannot be this angle over here so the correct answer is this one minus 37.5 
So this is the answer of letter B. For letter C, for letter C and D, we have to make A minus B plus C, and this vector is 127 in the I direction plus 2.6 in the J direction. So this is our vector A minus B plus C. We are going to do the same process as we did over here. So the magnitude of the vector A minus B plus C is equal to the square root of 127 squared plus 2.6 squared. And this gives us roughly, let's see, 130 meters. So this is the answer of letter C. Letter D, we have to find the angle, which is the tangent to the minus 1 or the arc tangent of 2.6 over 127. And this gives us two different angles. It gives us 1.2 degrees. 2 degrees and 181.2 degrees. So we have to choose which one is the correct one. Let, let us do the same trick as we did over here. So this is x, this is y. So let's see our vector is really big in the, in the x direction and small in the y direction. So it's something like this. And this is of course 1.2 degrees. So this is the answer of letter D. As for letter E and F, we have to find this vector D over here. So what we have is this, A plus B minus C minus D, which is equal to zero. So vector D is equal to vector C minus vector A minus vector B, and vector A minus B minus C is equal to, well, let's see if this is, uh, sorry, this is not correct, the, the, the sign is wrong, so we have to just send vector G, D to the other side, so vector D is equal to vector A plus B minus C, now this is correct. So this is equal to minus 40.4 in the i direction plus 47.4 in the j direction. Don't forget to include the units, which is meters. So we have to do the magnitude of vector d, which is equal to the square root of minus 40.4 squared plus 47.4 squared. And this is 62 meters. So this is the answer of letter E. For letter F, we have to find the angle. The angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of 47.4 over minus 40.4. And this gives us minus 50 degrees and plus 130 degrees. And if you draw this vector over here, you can see that it is negative in the i direction and positive in the y direction. So it is something like this. And this is, of course, 130 degrees. So this is the answer of this exercise.